Now tonight, detectives investigating John Matara, the main suspect in the murder of 26-year-old Stolid Wahoo, have recovered HIV testing kits, condoms, and other items that he is suspected to have used to assault and torture his victims from his house in Kahao West. Now police searched his house early Wednesday as investigators into his criminal activities in intensify. A visit by our Citizen TV crew to the area revealed that Matara, whose love for the bottle was obvious and lived a lonely, quiet life, although his house was frequently frequented by women. The suspect, who did not declare where he worked when he moved into the house in August 2023, used to spend the day in the house, leave in the evening, and return in the dead of night. Take a look at this story, prepared by our very own Jorogi Gatete. Located 50 meters off the main road in Kahawa West, Kiambu County, in this quiet neighborhood, is where murder suspect John Matara found solace after he was chased from apartments close to Kenyatta University. Earlier on Wednesday, detectives investigating the case camped at his one-bedroom house, which has remained closed for a week now, inside his house where police ransacked in search of more evidence in connection to allegations of sexual assault against several women in Nairobi and Kiambu counties. Detectives recovered several packets of HIV testing kits, condoms, rolls of bang, among other items that Matara is accused of using to lure and sexually assault his victims. For a man who used to live alone, he only has one seat and a table. The other items in the sitting room is a computer. We found empty alcohol bottles, books and a carpet. On the wall are notes with different subjects. <laughs> Mwangi says apart from living a quiet life, Matara loved alcohol and could be seen in the company of women who visited his house. Matara was struggling financially and at times was unable to pay his rent. For Halima Makena, a food vendor who used to sell bajia to Matara, the news of his involvement in a murder case and other cases of sexual assault was a big shock for a man she considered polite and harmless. <laughs> Residents of Darajambili in Kisi County, where the 34-year-old Matara grew up, are yet to come to terms with the accusations facing one of their own. We met with two former friends who say Matara was a God-fearing Christian who led the youth in Bible study and music. I'm coming earlier. Discussion. He knows how to sing, he sings well. He makes you understand. John alikuwa mtu ambaye anajua kanisa sana. Na yale mambo ambayo yamefanyika saa hii ni mambo ambayo ni kustajabisha. Lakini katika maisha binadamu kuna wakati mmoja mtu huanguka. 
our efforts to talk to the family over this matter were futile. Police investigating the matter were on January 5th granted 21 days to hold the suspect as they probed the matter. So far, three other victims have come out to accuse the suspect of sexually assaulting them before stealing cash and valuables from